Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? sure it's not seasonal for you um, definitely pick some up at the, the grocery store they often just have nice bags of basil leaves you can use so yeah still make nice yummy homemade pesto even if you don't grow it yourself the basil you can't grow pesto so got my basil got my blender nice clean basil goes into blender minus a stick that won't taste good in our pesto blender all the basils in the blender gonna add some olive oil and like I said I kind of just eyeball and taste test this so it's maybe a tablespoon right now gonna save your eardrums Starting to get chopped up, starting to get nice and oiled. Gonna add some nutritional yeast. Like maybe a couple of teaspoons. A little bit of pepper. I'm gonna hold off on the salt right now because I want to taste test it and for the garlic so a tip for peeling garlic got a nice wide knife 
and put it down flat on top of my garlic bulb, clove, clove, and press. And then I can just peel away. And so much simpler than like going with every single part of it. And since we're using the, the blender, we don't have to worry about mincing or using the garlic press for this. So it's going to all go right into our blender. And add a little bit more olive oil. I put all my garlic bowl cloves in. So four of them in there right now. You can plus or minus that to your taste. And we're blending. Okay, so now I'm just gonna keep adding oil, adding nutritional yeast, salt, pepper, until I get a good consistency and a good flavor. And I'll be back to give you an approximation of how much I used of everything and for a first bite. So, pesto's ready. I used about uh, a quarter cup of olive oil, maybe uh, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, um, teaspoon of pepper, maybe an eighth a teaspoon of salt, or four cloves of garlic, or a pint of basil leaves, and it like really shrinks. And so I probably only made about a, I don't know, a third of a cup of pesto. Be good enough for supper tomorrow. Yeah. So nice, easy supper, but you'll be surprised. You'll be like, whoa, so much basil. I'm going to have so much pesto. I don't know what to do all with all this. And it just goes, Loop. and you're like, oh, well, it's good for supper. Anyways, taste test. Sure, that's not vegan? It is vegan. Sure. Okay. Because I can't tell the difference. I know, right? So, yeah, nutritional yeast. It's pretty awesome. And also, uh, if you actually like really love the Parmesan cheese version, which I get it, or are weirded out by nutritional yeast or whatever, mm -hmm. link to like. A more typical pesto will be below. Okay. Yeah, I'll make sure to post that down there for everybody. Okay, so thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye, everybody. All right, I'm going to hand you back the spoon so that way I'm not going to get into that because that taste, I actually like that better than the Parmesan cheese one you made. Really? Yeah, that's, that's, that might actually be my favorite pesto. Huh. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Board Barista Productions. And if you want to support us, Patreon link at the bottom.